Yes guys, how's it going? Welcome back to a new video. Hope you guys are all enjoying your week so far. I'm sorry to tell you that the Dan Ashworth saga continues. Reports today that Dan Ashworth actually took a meeting at another Premier League club while just, just weeks after being put on gardening leave by Newcastle United. This is an exclusive by iNews that we will talk all about in this video. It's never ending. Just when there's some good news in the world of Newcastle, Lloyd Kelly looks set to sign off, uh, if the reports are true, has now signed for Newcastle United and is expected to do his medical today. Now, if your plan was to go and stand outside the training ground and wait for him, then maybe hold off, because it's actually thought that he's going to do his med. Well, they normally do like a pr preliminary, get that word right, medical, uh, which I think is taking place down in London. Uh, so it might be in the next few days where he'll make his way up here, then start getting the photos and getting everything sorted. So on that front, things are good. On the transfer front, things are good. It would, however, be even better, you know, if we had uh, a director of football in to help Eddie Howe and the owners get some of these transfers done. But the man that we brought in not too long ago at all is still sat in the garden um, trimming the edges or whatever he's doing because he ain't, he ain't doing it. Oh, I'll go and have meetings at uh, other Premier League football clubs. Apparently, uh, not sitting tight and doing nothing as he should be. Obviously, this is all off the back of... Um, huge links and reports that uh, Manchester United were, well, allegedly, let's get that word out early in this video, allegedly tapping up Dan Ashworth behind the back of Newcastle United. And Newcastle United took the decision to put him on garden and leave, which if you um, don't know, I'm, I am joking, but I'm, he could be in the garden. All the weather's not great up here today. Um, it's basically that he's not meant to go out and f do other work. He, he's still contracted to Newcastle United. He's still technically the director of football at Newcastle United. He's contracted, he's getting paid by Newcastle United. So he is not allowed to go out and have meetings with other clubs, basically interact or do anything in his current job spec, which as I say, we'll come on to in a moment. Um, he should, he should not be contacting, talking to or doing anything otherwise because he's still contracted to us. And the whole idea is, is that if we go, yeah, just get out, do whatever you want. We're not going to pay anymore. Just go do whatever you want. He could be going talking to him, talking to him, having words with him and saying, oh, well, I'm not, I'm, I'm actually leaving Newcastle soon, but come with me to my next job. So Newcastle took the, the um, sensible decision to put him out so that he wasn't getting involved. Um, Dan Ashworth um, wasn't happy about that. He actually believes, or allegedly, or rumoured to believe uh, that Newcastle put him on garden and leave too soon and that they didn't have the correct um, evidence or decision to, to do that. And just as Dan Ashworth was looking to take Newcastle to arbitration to fight this and say, I shouldn't be on garden and leave, I shouldn't be allowed to go and get a new job, boom! News comes out that Dan Ashworth has leaked emails saying effectively or r rumoured um, leaked emails, not just from his own private account, but to his own Newcastle United email address saying that he wants the Manchester United job. I mean, my word, could the timing on that for him have been any worse? He already looks like a bit of a... Uh, and, look, and, and the thing is, is that the, the whole thing is just the sour taste to begin with if Manchester United stepped up at the very start and said look we're interested we would like to talk to him you know can we put a bid in for can we look to and then maybe this would have all been very very different Newcastle could have had because it's gone behind the back of the owners to Dan Ashworth he's then come out and gone no no it wasn't me and then leaked emails have pr proven that it was him Manchester United say oh well we are interested but Newcastle want 20 million that's what's contracted for his release we'll offer two uh, and then obviously nothing has happened. We're sitting tight waiting to see what does happen. Reports are this morning that he hasn't been sitting tight and that he's actually been out and about when he shouldn't be um, visiting another Premier League football club. So the reports are basically saying that Ashworth uh, had a meeting at the Wolves training ground just weeks after being put on garden and leave by Newcastle United. The meeting was with... Uh, Wolves' sporting director, Matt Hobbs. Now, the reason this has got a bit of a dodgy rhythm about it is that, in fairness, Dan Ashworth's son does play football uh, for Wolves Academy. So, yeah, there, is, there, is, there is something there which 
plausible deniability. I was visiting my son. However, the, the reports go on to say that it's actually pretty unusual for Wolves' sporting director to be having meetings with the players' children. And I will also say that, as I mentioned at the very start, he should be having no contact with anything in the world of football right now. You know, I appreciate that it's his son and, and you can go down that route if you want to, but, like, he is being, like, potentially under, like, allegedly or potentially or rumoured to be, like, under legal charges for, like, breaking of contracts and everything else. Like, drop your son off at the door. Like, why are you in there? Why are you getting involved in this? Like, he's sending emails to himself. He's going and doing these, like... He's, he's asking for it at the minute. Like, you know what? I can appreciate... Oh, well, oh, my God, his son plays for Wolves. Like... Send him on the bus or drop him off at the, in the driveway. Like, why are you in there having meetings at the time of which Manchester United were being linked with Gary O'Neill for some sort of um, coaching role at Old Trafford, at Manchester United? So literally, the club that he's being linked with were in links with the Wolves coach or manager at the time is um is also also um there and it's and it's also reported that he actually did have a chat with Gary O'Neill while he was there as well. All of which time he's meant to be sat at home doing nothing. It, you know what? It, it what bemuses me even more is isn't even the saga of the ongoing Dan Ashworth. It's the like the madness that he isn't even covering his tracks while he's doing it. Like, if you if you are going to be brazen enough to go out there and, like, under contract, send emails when you shouldn't be, have meetings when you shouldn't be, at least look over your shoulder twice to check if someone's spying. And obviously the way these things all come out is all, but who knows, it could, it could be anybody at Wolves that this has, this has come out through. But it's, it just blows my mind that this still continues to go on. And, look, what next? I think, you know, because that, that's the thing is that, more, more's coming out each day of, of what's going on with Ashworth and, and really at, at some point there is going to have to be a solution or, or an ending to this story the, 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 the likely ending as it, as it goes at the moment is that you'll sit on garden and leave until 2026 or whatever it is and then um, you'll leave Newcastle United um, because that's when his um, garden and leave comes out but for me I think what needs to happen is Jim Radcliffe stops having a moan on the um, on the telly and in his interviews and just pay Newcastle the money. Have a proper sit down and a proper conversation. I mean, for, for all I know, the Newcastle owners might not want that conversation. They're going, you know what it is. Manchester United allegedly have been pretty dodgy and uh, fair enough blame Ashford but it sounds like they've been pretty dodgy as well going round the back trying to have a word with him I mean Southgate's getting linked in the Manchester United job because he's good mates with Ashworth I mean how funny would that be if Southgate went and managed Manchester United although it's actually said that Ten Hag's going to stay now maybe that's because they don't want to listen to Ashworth anymore but it's um, it's just crazy that if, if from the very beginning they just handled it more seriously, this could have been better for both parties. I, I think at this point, I, it's it's like it feels like to me career suicide. What, what's going on with Ashworth right now? Like, why would anyone want to touch him with a barge pole unless it's Manchester United? And maybe that actually lands us in a bad position because if Jim Radcliffe turns around and goes, "Well, there's no way I'm going to pay you the the twenty million that you want," uh, do you want to do you want to do two? Well. I actually can't see why. Why is why are these conversations not taking place already? It's almost like they've they've started it. They've gone they've gone around it the wrong way. They've got caught for it, and rather than sticking up and standing up and putting the you know the big boy pants on and going, you know, let's have a proper cotton ball. Twenty millions. We don't want to pay twenty million, but we will play ten. You know, as a Newcastle fan at this point, as much as I want, and you can tell me, maybe you want Dan Ashworth to sit in his garden for the rest of his life. But part of me wants this kind of over and out of my life. You know, just just get the 10 million. That's 50 million to us in terms of FFP spend over a transfer window. You know, that means we don't have to go and sell Minty. Get the 10 for Ashworth. Let's get on with our lives. But the, the trouble is, though, is that I think that if Manchester United don't pay the money, I don't see why anybody would want to come in for Ashworth. And we certainly can't invite him back to his job role, so he's done with us. I don't think he's going to go anywhere else. It is literally Manchester United, and maybe they're biding their time and just thinking, you know what, if we wait long enough, we can have him. But I just don't think the Newcastle owners will let him go because of how badly it's all gone down. They will be expecting some sort of fee, 
whether it is 20 million or whether we agree something less, but yes, Ashworth, in my opinion, has been a bit of a naughty boy and it is really just almost mind blowing how he had gone from this I, this guy at Brighton who had sorted them out and brought in all these players and literally a year and a half as just, his stock has just plummeted through the floor um, and he must be pretty good that, you know, he's gone and had this conversation with Jim Radcliffe or whatever, thinking it's all, you know, going to be a nice start to or whatever and it's just literally gone totally west and... As I say, what blows my mind even further is the fact that he's not even covering his tracks. And if he's planning for this arbitration to still go through with Newcastle because he thinks he shouldn't be on guard and then leave, my God, the evidence that's stacking up, if it does go there, God knows what else may well come out from the from the background on that one. Let me know your thoughts on Ashworth. Let me know your thoughts on his secret of meetings with other Premier League teams, why he should be sat at home. <sighs> Uh, enjoy the rest of your week no doubt the, the rest of um, the Ashworth will continue on and who knows what we'll find out next but thank you for watching opinions on Ashworth down in the comments do we take the 10 million do we just, we just off do, will Jim Radcliffe play 10 I'm not taking 2 and get lost but I think we should look to take something and just get it straight into our summer spends thanks for watching subscribe if you haven't already loads of videos right now if you're still watching right now of me ranting about Ashworth and you haven't hit subscribe hit the button it's free Getting really close to 50,000 subscribers, which is quality. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.